By the debacle around the, the pre-selection for Eden Monero, it's, uh, it's been quite a drama. Um, it's hard to see how the Nationals Deputy Premier can now put his hat back in the ring, particularly after the text message which was revealed by my colleague Andrew Clennell yesterday. Well, look, obviously there's been a number of factors that have played into John Barillaro uh, not putting his hand up. Uh, and some of that uh, has obviously also been his family. Now, I'm not sure of uh, whether these changing circumstances changed his decision, uh, but obviously some of uh, the weight that was put in, in determining his decision was his family. Uh, but we'll have to wait and see. This is a very fluid situation, obviously, but I think it's important that it's clarified quickly. I think it's important that we start to focus on the people rather than ourselves. Uh, we shouldn't be self-indulgent in these times and just get on with the job of representing people, whether they be in Eden Monaro or right across the country. That's what they expect of their leaders at this time and I think it's time for us all to step up. It, it's a, a big ask though for Michael McCormack. He's, he's, um, you'd have to be a saint to turn the other cheek with the sort of spray that he copped from the Deputy Premier, wouldn't you? Well, look, I think we're all just focused at the job at hand. We're worried about the regions. We're worried about how can we open them up and give them an opportunity to survive COVID after drought and fires. Um, you know, when you come to Canberra, you expect a couple of uppercuts uh, and you shake it off and shake hands and have a beer together in the Nats. And that's probably what will happen with Barra and the rest of us. I don't think there's any Ill, Ill feeling that will linger on. I think we're all mature enough. Um, that's a good thing about the Nats. You have a spit and uh, shake hands and get on with the job. So, so you'd like him to run? You'd encourage him to... To run? Well, well, look, John Barillaro is a talent. Uh, the, the reality is, but there's a lot of talented people that don't make it to federal politics. It's not necessarily always fair. Uh, that's a determination that John Barillaro and his family would have to make, but he'd add a lot to the diversity of the National Party party room, and if he's prepared to do it and his, and his uh, branches support him, uh, then ultimately uh, we'd love to have him and we'd love to have a crack. Uh, you know, we're, we're not here for second place, and if he wants to have a go and his branches get behind him, uh, then we will. The, the one thing you've got to understand about the Nats, uh, uh, leaders and party presidents don't pick uh, candidates. You don't come in over the top of your branches, otherwise invariably they'll, they'll tell you to take a running jump real quick. Uh, the Nats are very, very uh, precious to preserve uh, that democratic right that we have and our membership are fiercely uh, protective of that and so it'll be up to the, to the branches to make that determination, so it should be. And that's what makes us special and different. David Littleproud, Minister for Agriculture, Deputy Leader of the Nationals, I appreciate your time as always, thanks. Great to be with you, mate. Yeah, David Littleproud on John Barillaro says we'd love to have him, that uh, we shake it off, have a beer and move on. So let's see what happens on that front. But the candidate, the Liberal candidate, lasted 24 hours. He's been speaking to the media in Malua Bay, Andrew Constance. Let's have a listen in. In the last couple of weeks uh, is when Gladys appointed Shane Fitzsimmons as the Resilience Commissioner. I think that's possibly the best news that, you know, we could see in New South Wales. Can I, you know, say also, just in relation to all of this issue, you know, I, I want to apologise for the confusion and anyone who's been upset in the last 24 hours about this. I think that's really important. I, I do want to apologise for anyone who's been upset, confused uh, by, by what's happened. But, you know, importantly, I mean, Glad, Glad wants to get on with the job. We've got such important work to do around fire recovery, particularly with Shane Fitzsimmons now coming into the resilience role. Um, and, you know, we've got, we've got good things happening. You know, to hear Labor's candidates say, oh, everyone's been forgotten, I mean, take a drive. You know, come to Malua Bay and see what's being cleaned up. See the pods being delivered, which is a partnership between the state and Mindaroo. Don't put it down because we've got to motivate people up. And don't use it for your cheap political purposes. Because I'll call it out. Um, you mentioned um, it was a confusing thing to do. 24 hours, yeah. Yeah, confusing 24 hours. Um, what do you have to say to the people who sort of were like, is he okay? Is he I, you know, I want to thank everyone who's messaged me this morning. But when I said politics is stuffed in this country, and some of the people in it need to have a long, hard look, I meant it. And we've now seen that in such a great way on the front page of the Telegraph. I mean, like, stuff that. Like, seriously. I mean, I hadn't signed up to, you know, contest federally to, to be called that type of smear. Um, yeah, and, and, you know, obviously, you know, I don't believe John means it. You know, I, I had that discussion with him. 
But, you know, the, the point out of it is that it's in the paper. Labor will play games with it every day of the week. And, and that's, not, that's not what our community needs at the moment. Oh, I just think, I think, to be honest with you, I'd say this. Um, it's important there's coalition unity in order to contest this by-election. And part of that is that it, it by rights, you know, and I, I will stand by whoever's pre-selected because I think, you know, we have seen the benefit over the years. It wouldn't matter if it's Mike Kelly or Gary Nan. If you've got a member in government, you can really turbocharge Eden Monero. And I'd say that to everybody. Um, so whoever's successful the Liberal Party pre-selection, you know, I'm going to stand by them.